people are progressing. They're moving on, you know. But, you know, it's, <laughs> they're stuck in this kind of situation and you really don't understand why, you know. Um, and, you know, it actually makes me sad, you know, because um, I, I really feel like, you know, we've got to be moving on. We've got to be trying to do better, you know, and be better. You know what I'm saying? Um, and not make people feel like they shouldn't be, you know, not make them feel like they shouldn't be um, where they are, right? I see Budek is uh, just tuned in. If you've got a question, please, by all means, give us um, give us your little question over there. I'm going to wave at you very quickly. <laughs> all right. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. It's nice to have you here. Um, so if you want to come through, right, um, if you want to come into this debate, feel free anytime, just comment, okay, um, we'll be ready for you, all right, um, so I was saying, you know, it's not just, um, it's not just the, the French team, it's not just Ozil, it's not just Obama, you know, really prominent figures from the past have, <laughs> thanks for the wave, hi, <laughs> you know, really prominent figures from the past have had to move from their home countries, you know, in order to be a success, you know, in order to do something, you know, um, whether a person is an asylum seeker, whether they're a refugee, or whether they just want to improve their skills, you know, they deserve that respect. Um, and there's a quote that I read the other day, right? Um, it was for a boxer, his name is Anthony Joshua, right? So about five years ago, he, I think he was involved in like, a, like an accident, right? Mm -hmm. And the very first thing that, um, you know, the very first thing that they wrote in the headline was um, boxer of Nigerian descent crashes car, right? And then a few years later, he won a match, um, a very thrilling match against uh, Vladimir uh, Klitschko, right? And all of a sudden, when he did that uh, amazing thing, next thing that happens is that it's written, English boxer Anthony Joshua wins thrilling match against Klitschko, right? And this so-called fluidity of identities really has a double standard, right? We've got to be consistent in how we're treating people, right? We shouldn't be treating immigration like it's um, the worst thing ever, you know? We shouldn't be treating these people like um, they've done the worst thing, right? Let's wave at Session real quick. <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in, Session. Hey. Um, so, you know, onto my point, right, is we can't carry on like this, right? I really want to hear your thoughts as well. So, you know, if you feel like the, all these football players, the likes of the Ozils and the Gundogans and the whatever are being persecuted for just expressing themselves, chime in, you know, tell me what you think, right? Um, some of the most successful people, right, have had to move away from their home countries, you know, and unfortunately, that's just the only choice that they had. What's up, Sashin? Hi. <laughs> right. So, yeah, you know, it, it really breaks my heart. Right. And we've got to be better as people. Right. I hope this is all making sense. And the whole reason why we are doing this whole thing um, is to make things a little bit better. You know, be better people. Right. That's why I try and bring you people from different backgrounds, you know, because we've got to see that no matter where a person comes from, what, no matter what their identity is, they deserve to be respected, you know? I mean, our very first guest, right, if some of you watched my, um, my series, right, um, the, 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 the gym wear designers, Apex Active Apparel, right, one of them is from uh, Malawi, he's got Malawian descent, you know? Um, a few weeks ago, the writer, and um, producer that I interviewed, Tandu Echalpebe. You know, she's got Zambian as well as Tuana roots, you know? Um, I've come across people from so many different countries, right? And, you know, it's crazy because those people have actually molded me and shaped me into being, you know, what I'd call, waving at Tristan real quick, hey, Tris. <laughs> what did they call you back then, Rick? Hey, Tristan. Anyway, um, you know, you... You know, if you're not interacting with people from different cultures and backgrounds, then you're not going to grow as a person, you know? And traveling is never a bad thing. You've just got to make sure you've got the right intentions. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, you know, keep it real. Keep pushing, 
you know? Right, so Session says, um, they were talking about, will we as a country live without states? All right, that's a very good question, right? Um, if any of you are familiar with uh, Muammar Gaddafi, right? Um, he was the, who was it, Libyan, there we go. The Libyan president that they, um, you know, killed a number of years ago. He proposed a United States of Africa, right? Now, whether that would have been the best move or not, we don't know, right? But had that been executed properly, we might have had, you know, a lot more, um, you know, a lot more unity amongst us, right? We wouldn't have the situation where a person sets up a shop, sets up a company in another country, and immediately they're treated like they are trying to steal everything, right? And as I said before, when a person does well, they are praised, they are... You know, they, they are put on the highest pedestal, right? Um, you, you'll be saying things like foreign national um, boosts the economy of the country. Um, how far can they go, right? And the moment that jobs from that company start disappearing or the company starts to suffer a bit, then oh, suddenly, oh, um, Malawian national bringing down the economy or, you know, and it's, it's crazy, right? Or it could even be from other countries, you know, German... Um, expats are um, taking away jobs, you know what I mean? Um, so it's crazy, you know? So, so I hope that answers you properly, Session. Um, it would be really nice to live without states. We probably have a long way to go, but um, I, I, I think we, we really could do a lot better as people, as countries, as everything, you know? I'm not saying we should have a Euro of Africa. I'm not saying we should have our own um, EU sort of situation, but let's try and work together a bit more, you know? Let's not have an entire football player deciding to retire because he's suffering from racism, you know? Let's not have an entire president, a head of state, having to bring up his ID just to prove that he comes from a certain country, or indeed he is a citizen of a country, you know what I mean? So it's, it's crazy, it's crazy, you know? Um, I'm not going to get into the whole... Sorry, okay, I hope I'm back. I should be back. Sorry, we lost connection for a few seconds. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, I, I, don't want to, I don't want to make you feel like this is some kind of amends or revolutionary kind of thing, but let's try and be better as people, right? That was my quick chat. Um, if any of you want to try and continue this during the week, let me know. We might even do a panel, all right? Later in the week, I am going to be chatting to a lady actually of more mixed heritage, all right, um, another artist, so we'll see how that goes, right, but thanks for tuning in, Session, that was an awesome question, right, and I hope you're doing well, brother, okay, two, okay, Ooh, before we cut this down, Yudeka has a nice comment for us here, people forget that we live in a global village, nationalism is used as a tool to dissociate others and spread fear, yes, there is pride in our roots and patriotism, but we are all just flesh and blood, we are all in a time period that promotes transitional spaces that allows for people to develop and transform. Wow. Okay. Beautiful comment. Okay. Uh, sorry. There we go. Thank you very much, Yudi. Wow. I'm actually touched. Okay. Thanks very much, Yudeka. Um, I will inform you guys in advance the next time we have another one of these conversations. Thank you for your contributions. Yudeka, Session, you guys are stars. Hope you're doing well wherever you are.